make me a tailor. Mother your son did stew, and frying fish and stewing meat. My treacle pudding is a treat, do we have lovely grub to eat? Sir, nothing you run, you like. He's new on the job. Mr. Collinson, I'd like to ask your permission to have another shot at that John in the police force. Not here, you won't. Oh, now, look, if you'll put in a good word for me, I know that If you were six feet tall, weighed 20 stone, and were weightlifting champion of the world, I still wouldn't put in a good word for you. Maybe I did make one or two mistakes. <laughs> You sex maniac. Rinse him out with this and spit into the bowl. Good morning. But Mr. Grimsdale, they're trying to take our territory. I know that. I had a letter from him yesterday. Making me an offer for the entire business. We'll break them. We'll break them. But that's what they want to do to us. Don't be silly, Pinkin. You, um, excuse me. Now, now, I want to fix up a day, you see. Shh. Oh, I nearly shipped him by now, It's all right, Mr. Grimsdale. Bit of hold up, but don't worry. I'll soon have a casualty. Yeah, Rose is coming! Mr. Grimsdale! It's time for your pew. I want you to imagine that Pitkin here has fallen off a very high roof. And he's been kicked in the face by a horse. <laughs> With an iron oof, son. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> You can't talk, then you can't say no, can you? Well, Pitkin, I must insist that you control your excessive libido towards the ladies. Check your equipment. How long will the ambulance be? Oh, well, about 18 feet, Mr. Grimsdale. Don't you know you're all right, Get out of it. You men are all alike. You! You! It's my proudest possession, Mrs. Cutforth. Oh, yes, that's right. Come out, whatever you are! I'm coming up for you! You don't know! You realize, of course, you can't stay here like this. You remember what happened last time? Two boiled eggs. Let's go get a trip round the Euro. This is a peaceful neighborhood. We don't want any trouble here. Now go on, shovel! He feels restless. You better quieten him down. Men, you can get him to the operating theater. I'm going to tell your manager about you. You know what your trouble is? What? You've got a suspicious mind. But I know what's going on here. What? I've seen. What? I've watched them. What are you talking about? You couldn't come to see me, so I came to see you. To help people who don't even know what the inside of a place like this looks like! Everybody down! Hello, uh, send an ambulance, please! I don't need an ambulance. I'd probably put the blame on your shoulders just the same. You know what these people are, they've got no sense of fair play. Uh, sound the alarm. Every available man on the ambulance. <laughs> oh, okay! You can rely on me. Here, I can wear it in the daytime, can't I, Mr. Grimsdale? You're a woman. And you're pretty. Mum, what is your name? Pickin, sir. A square peg in the round.